Imagine a civilization so ancient, so groundbreaking, that its innovations shaped the course of human history. This was a place where the first cities emerged, where writing was invented, and where the very idea of law was born. Mesopotamia, often called the cradle of civilization, gave us the foundation for so much of what we consider modern life. But here's the twist. What if its influence didn't stop at inventions or ideas? What if its legacy still lives within us? Quite literally, in our DNA. How much of our genetic makeup could trace back to the heart of ancient Mesopotamia? Could the DNA of those who walked the streets of Uruk or attended the fields of Babylon still be shaping who we are today? These are not just hypothetical questions. Recent advances in genetic archaeology have begun to unlock secrets buried for millennia. Secrets that may tie us to one of humanity's earliest great civilizations. This video will take you on a journey through the forgotten legacy of Mesopotamian DNA. We'll start by exploring the incredible rise and cultural achievements of this ancient society. Then we'll dive into the science, how geneticists and archaeologists are decoding the genomes of people who lived thousands of years ago. Finally, we'll examine what this means for us today. From the surprising genetic links between Mesopotamians and modern populations to the cultural echoes of their innovations that still resonate in our everyday lives. The story of Mesopotamia is not just a tale of the past. It's a story of connection, innovation, and the enduring threads of human history. So buckle up, because we're about to unravel the mysteries of Mesopotamian DNA and discover just how much of their world remains a part of ours. To understand the legacy of Mesopotamian DNA, we first need to look at the civilization itself, a civilization that laid the foundation for nearly every aspect of human advancement. Nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, in what is now modern-day Iraq, Kuwait, and parts of Syria and Turkey, Mesopotamia is often referred to as the cradle of civilization. Why? Because it was here, over 5,000 years ago, that humans first moved beyond scattered tribes and nomadic lifestyles to build cities. Mesopotamia was home to some of the world's earliest urban centers, like Uruk, Babylon, and Nineveh, bustling hubs of culture, commerce, and innovation. These weren't just cities, they were thriving ecosystems of knowledge. Mesopotamians were pioneers in so many areas. They invented writing, developing cuneiform scripts etched into clay tablets. Imagine the ability to record laws, trade transactions, and even poetry for the very first time. They also gave us the 60-minute hour, a 360-degree circle, and some of the earliest forms of mathematical problem-solving. But Mesopotamia wasn't just about science and governance. It was rich in mythology and storytelling, too. Take the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest written stories known to man. This tale of heroism, friendship, and the quest for immortality has parallels in later works from Greek epics like the Iliad to modern stories that grapple with the human condition. It's as if the stories of Mesopotamia set the blueprint for the world's mythologies. However, no civilization is eternal. Over centuries, Mesopotamia faced invasions, conquests, and eventual decline. The Assyrians, Babylonians, and later the Persians each rose to power, leaving their own marks, but also fracturing the region. By the time Alexander the Great swept through in 331 BCE, the once thriving civilization was a shadow of its former self. Yet even as Mesopotamia faded, its people didn't disappear entirely. They spread out, taking their stories, innovations, and even their genes with them. The rivers that once nurtured this cradle of innovation became conduits for trade, migration, and cultural diffusion. This brings us to the question. If the people of Mesopotamia spread across the ancient world, could their DNA be a thread connecting us to this remarkable past? Could their influence extend not just culturally, but genetically, into the present? To answer that, we turn to the field of genetic archaeology, a modern tool for uncovering ancient truths. Let's dig deeper into what DNA can tell us about the people of Mesopotamia and how their legacy lives on, hidden in the very fabric of our being. Uncovering the genetic legacy of Mesopotamia requires a fascinating blend of science, technology, and archaeology. While we often think of history as something written in books or carved into stone, it's also inscribed in our DNA, a biological time capsule that holds the secrets of the past. But how do scientists unlock these secrets? The field of genetic archaeology has made incredible strides in recent years. 
Researchers can now extract ancient DNA from human remains that are thousands of years old, bones, teeth, and even soil samples from burial sites. But it's no easy task. DNA is fragile, degrading over time due to heat, moisture, and microbial activity. Recovering usable DNA from ancient Mesopotamian remains, where conditions are often harsh, requires cutting-edge technology and meticulous precision. Once the DNA is extracted, the real detective work begins. Using powerful sequencing tools, scientists compare the genetic data of ancient individuals to modern populations, tracing connections and migrations. It's like piecing together a massive puzzle, one fragment of information at a time. So, what have we learned so far about the people of Mesopotamia? Recent genetic studies from sites like Tel Brak and other ancient cities have revealed a population that was remarkably diverse. Mesopotamia was a crossroads of human migration. Its fertile lands attracted people from far and wide. Genetic analysis shows traces of not just local Mesopotamian ancestry, but also influences from neighboring regions like Anatolia, the Levant, and even parts of Central Asia. One of the most intriguing findings is how this genetic melting pot gave rise to populations that resemble many modern groups. Researchers have identified genetic markers in ancient Mesopotamian remains that are still present in today's Middle Eastern populations. But the surprises don't stop there. Due to the extensive trade networks and migrations of the time, these genetic markers also appear in unexpected places like Europe and parts of South Asia. Consider this. The trade routes of Mesopotamia didn't just carry goods like spices, textiles, and precious metals. They also facilitated the exchange of people and, by extension, their DNA. Merchants, migrants, and conquerors carried their genetic legacy across continents, weaving a tapestry of shared ancestry that links distant regions to the cradle of civilization. These discoveries challenge the notion of distinct, isolated ancient cultures. Instead, they reveal a dynamic and interconnected human story. Mesopotamian DNA isn't just a relic of the past. It's a testament to how deeply connected we've always been as a species. And while the science is still in its infancy, there's potential for even more groundbreaking revelations. Imagine being able to map the full genetic history of an entire civilization, pinpointing how their genes spread and evolved over millennia. So, what does this mean for us today? Are we closer to understanding who we are by studying who we were? And how does this genetic connection to Mesopotamia impact our sense of identity and history? In the next section, we'll explore these questions by looking beyond DNA to the cultural and symbolic legacy of Mesopotamia. Because the story doesn't end with genetics. It's also about how their ideas, values, and innovations continue to shape our modern world. While the genetic ties to Mesopotamia offer a fascinating glimpse into our biological past, their legacy is much more than just DNA. Mesopotamia's influence is woven into the very fabric of our cultures, ideas, and daily lives, echoing across millennia in ways that are often overlooked. Let's start with their innovations, many of which are still with us today. Take their contributions to mathematics. The Mesopotamians didn't just invent arithmetic. They gave us the concept of the 60-minute hour and the 360-degree circle. Every time you check the time or navigate with GPS, you're using systems rooted in their ancient calculations. Their legal systems also set the stage for modern governance. The Code of Hammurabi, inscribed on a towering stone steel, is one of the earliest examples of written law. Its influence can be seen in legal principles that persist to this day. Concepts like justice, fairness, and accountability under a codified system of rules. And then there's language. Mesopotamian scribes developed cuneiform, one of the earliest systems of writing. While no one uses cuneiform today, its legacy endures in how we communicate. Written language evolved from these early symbols, spreading across cultures and influencing scripts like the Phoenician alphabet, which eventually gave rise to Greek, Latin, and many modern alphabets. But the legacy doesn't stop at practical innovations. It extends into our myths and stories. Mesopotamian mythology shaped the narratives of later civilizations. For instance, the story of the Great Flood in the Epic of Gilgamesh bears striking similarities to tales in the Bible and other religious texts. 
These parallels highlight how deeply intertwined our collective storytelling is, with Mesopotamian myths forming a cornerstone of global traditions. Now, consider how genetics bridges this cultural legacy with our biological ties. Genetic markers serve as a reminder that these ancient people aren't just part of history books, they're part of us. It's a humbling thought. Their DNA isn't confined to museum exhibits or archaeological sites. It flows through living populations today. This genetic connection fosters a deeper sense of shared heritage. Imagine learning that your ancestors might have been farmers in the Fertile Crescent, scribes in the bustling streets of Babylon, or merchants navigating ancient trade routes. Understanding these ties can shift how we view history, not as distant and separate but as a shared narrative that unites us all. And this shared narrative has symbolic power. In a world often divided by culture, religion, and geography, the knowledge that we share roots in such a foundational civilization reminds us of our common humanity. Mesopotamian DNA doesn't just connect us to the past. It can help bridge divides in the present by highlighting the interconnectedness of our origins. In the end, the legacy of Mesopotamia isn't just about what they created. It's about how those creations, from ideas to genetics, continue to shape us. It's a story of innovation, resilience, and connection that's as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. But the question remains, how do we use this knowledge to deepen our understanding of who we are and where we come from? In the next section, we'll look at how modern discoveries about Mesopotamian ancestry can transform our sense of identity and our connection to the world. The more we uncover about Mesopotamia's genetic and cultural legacy, the clearer it becomes. This ancient civilization isn't as far removed from us as it seems. With every discovery, we're reconnecting with a part of ourselves, rediscovering roots that have been hidden for millennia. Take, for example, the stories of modern scientific breakthroughs. In 2019, researchers sequenced ancient Mesopotamian genomes from burial sites in what is now northern Iraq. The results were astonishing. They revealed genetic links to modern populations in the Middle East, but also hinted at connections to areas far beyond, including parts of Europe and South Asia. These findings confirm that the people of Mesopotamia were not isolated. They were travelers, traders, and innovators whose influence extended well beyond the boundaries of their time. And it's not just about genetics. Archaeological digs continue to unearth clues about how Mesopotamians lived, worshipped, and governed. Inscriptions on clay tablets describe trade networks that span thousands of miles, connecting Mesopotamia to regions as distant as the Indus Valley and the Mediterranean. These discoveries paint a vivid picture of a civilization deeply interconnected with the world, a reminder that globalization isn't a modern invention. But how does this knowledge affect us today? For one, it challenges the way we think about identity. We often define ourselves by nationalities, ethnicities, or cultural groups. But the story of Mesopotamia shows us how fluid and intertwined human history really is. Many of the markers we use to separate ourselves were forged in shared spaces among shared ancestors. This isn't just a theoretical idea. It has real implications for how we see ourselves and each other. Knowing that Mesopotamian DNA is present in people across continents can foster a sense of unity. It's a reminder that our differences are often less significant than our common origins. Modern technology is making these connections even clearer. Tools like AI and machine learning are helping scientists analyze ancient genomes more accurately, reconstructing the genetic history of entire populations. Imagine the potential. Interactive maps that show how the people of Mesopotamia spread, evolved, and influenced the world over thousands of years. But perhaps the most important takeaway is the symbolic power of these discoveries. They remind us that the story of humanity isn't one of isolated civilizations, but of interconnectedness. Mesopotamian DNA connects us to the earliest days of urban life, to a time when humanity first began shaping the world in ways that still resonate today. So, what do we do with this knowledge? For starters, it's an opportunity to celebrate our shared history. When we recognize the threads that tie us to ancient Mesopotamia, we're also recognizing the incredible resilience and creativity of humanity as a whole. This is why studying ancient DNA and history matters. Not just to understand the past, but to build a more connected and informed future. Mesopotamia's legacy, both genetic and cultural, 
serves as a reminder of what we're capable of when we innovate, collaborate, and look beyond our immediate borders. As we look ahead, there's so much more to uncover. With each discovery, we're not just learning about the past, we're finding ourselves in it. In the final section, we'll reflect on how we can embrace this knowledge and use it to shape a better, more united future. The legacy of Mesopotamia is more than a history lesson. It's a story that belongs to all of us. From their groundbreaking innovations to the very DNA in our cells, Mesopotamians have left a mark that transcends time. Their world may seem distant, but their influence is closer than you think, shaping the way we live, work, and even think today. So, what does this mean for us now? It means we have an opportunity to reframe how we see history, not as a series of disconnected events or cultures, but as a shared journey that binds us all. The threads of Mesopotamian DNA remind us that we're not as divided as we might seem. We are all inheritors of the same ancient story, one that started in the fertile lands between the Tigris and Euphrates and spread across the globe. Reflect for a moment. What if understanding this shared history could help us bridge the divides of today? What if the realization that we carry the same genetic and cultural legacies could inspire us to work together, just as our ancestors once did? Mesopotamia wasn't just a cradle of innovation. It was a cradle of collaboration, where diverse peoples came together to build something extraordinary. As we continue to unlock the secrets of ancient civilizations, we're not just learning about the past. We're uncovering lessons for the future. Mesopotamia teaches us that innovation, resilience, and connection are timeless human traits. These are the same qualities that will carry us forward as we face the challenges of our own time. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about the idea that Mesopotamian DNA might still shape who we are today? Does this connection change how you see history, or yourself? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your perspective is part of the shared story, and we'd love to hear it. If you're as fascinated by ancient history and genetics as we are, make sure to check out our other videos exploring the mysteries of humanity's past. And don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth explorations of the civilizations that built the foundation of our world. As we close, let's leave with this thought. Mesopotamia's story is far from forgotten. It lives on in our culture, our ideas, and our very DNA. By embracing this shared heritage, we can connect not only with the past, but also with each other, celebrating the incredible journey of humanity as one connected whole. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the forgotten legacy of Mesopotamian DNA. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep discovering the threads that unite us all.